Hey guys, Courtney Cox here with Nessin.com, joined with Allie Raisman. Allie, first and foremost, congratulations. You. Your last practice here at home before going to Houston and then to the Olympics. Uh, must be a little bit bittersweet. How does it feel? Uh, it doesn't really feel real. It hasn't really sunk in yet. I, I mean, it feels like we're just going to a regular training camp, but then from there, it's crazy. We're leaving um, right for the Olympics. So it's insane. I've obviously been training for this, you know, since I... Um, I took a year off after 2012, and then for the last three years, I've been, you know, thinking about it every single day, and now it's finally here. So it's it, time really flew by. Well, you look at the roster for this year's team, you and Gabby Douglas, the two names that everybody recognizes. Uh, how does it feel this time around? Does it feel any different than 2012? No, I mean, it feels pretty much the same. I think it was a lot of hard work getting there in 2012. It's the same now. You know, it's still nerve-wracking just because you want to do the best that you can for yourself and for your coaches and your family and everyone that supported you. And then, of course, for your teammates in your country. So it is um, quite a bit of pressure, but I'm very excited to have the opportunity to go again. And out of the five, you are the oldest at 22. Lots of the media saying you are the leader, you're the big sister, everyone's looking up to you. Uh, does that add any pressure? No, I mean, if anything, I think it adds confidence just knowing that, you know, I can be there for the girls. And I think that I have, um, you know, even though I'm very young at 22 for gymnastics, it's considered older. So it's nice to know that the girls can um, come to me and I consider them, you know, my little sisters, you know, especially Lori. She's six years younger than me. So, um, you know, it's very special to have that relationship with them. Well, you are a Massachusetts girl. Uh, how cool is it? You look at Alicia Sacramoni, now you at the Olympics, not only representing the U.S., but on a smaller scale representing Massachusetts. How cool is that for you? I mean, it's really cool. Alicia, um, you know, trained with me for a really long time here. So I've known her since I was like 10 years old. So, you know, I grew up watching her train and obviously watching her compete and representing USA at World Championships in the Olympics. So to be able to, you know, be able to do the same thing is really cool. And then being from Boston, it's the best sports city in the whole entire world. You know, the fans here are amazing and so supportive of their Boston athletes. So it's really exciting. You know, obviously growing up, I was a huge, you know, Pats and Celtics and Red Sox and Bruins fan. So um, it's really cool. So we talked to you, you know, a few months down the road. Rio is all said and done. Uh, what's something that you hope you can tell us after the games? Mm -hmm. I hope I can tell you that it was a fun experience and, um, you know, I just had a good competition. I think that all the girls, we just want to know that we did give it our all, but you want to just have everyone have their best days. You know, it's obviously so much pressure and it's so nerve wracking. They just want everyone to feel good about their performance. You know, no matter where you are on the podium, if you're not on it or you are, it's you just want to know that you had a good competition and you can feel good about it. Well, I got to ask, 2012, besides you guys performing extremely well, a uh, big storyline was your parents. Mm -hmm. uh, going into 2016, have you talked to them? Have you said, remember, guys, the cameras are going to be on mm -hmm. you, too? Um, I mean, they've been actually filmed quite a bit at the last competitions, too. So, I mean, my mom gets so nervous, and obviously so does my dad. My dad and my brother literally have to wear the same shirt to every competition. Um, they're very superstitious when it comes to that. <laughs> but, um, I mean, it's just... I try not to think about it because I know that they obviously put so much into it and they, you know, without them, none of it would have been possible. So, um, you know, I know that they get very nervous, so I'm sure they'll be freaking out in the stands again. Well, Allie, congratulations. Good luck in Rio. I hope we get to talk to you again post-games. Thank you. Post -games. Thank you.